This video will provide an overview of the Manager Plan section of FocusMe. The Manager Plan screen provides quick access to review all key elements of your active and inactive plans. Each row is considered a separate plan. The first row shows an active plan, while the rest below are inactive. From this screen, you can quickly review details of which websites or applications are being managed under a particular plan. For instance, the Block Social Media Plan, we are blocking Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and numerous other social media platforms. These are considered blacklisted. The next icon shows us allowed or whitelisted URLs. The small number shows the count of websites in each list, or will display all if you are blocking all websites. Applications work the same way, where the first icon indicates what is blacklisted, and the next indicates what is whitelisted. Moving on to the Rule column, we can view what type of rule is being utilized for our plan. For example, we can just block, which means the website or application is always blocked whilst the plan is active. Or we may specify a time limit or launch limit. The Rule Types video will cover this in detail. Next, we find the Schedule Mode column. There are three schedule modes. First, Quick Mode gives you an allotted amount of focused time. Second, Daily slash Weekly Mode allows you to set a time frame on a recurring basis. And third, Pomodoro Mode allows you to set repeating work break cycles using the popular Pomodoro technique. We will cover these in more detail in future videos. The next column we can see whether or not any plan protection is enabled. Some of these plans may contain passwords to unlock them. And finally, users can manually start plans from this screen. This makes the plan active. Note, be completely sure that a particular plan is set up correctly before starting the plan. Once you click the Start button, all rules and controls will take effect immediately. If, for example, you have any type of password protection enabled, the program will require the valid password before allowing you to stop or edit the plan. Over the next six videos in this series, we will show you how to add a plan and utilize the plan wizard step by step. The Add Plan button at the top right launches the plan wizard. To edit a current plan, either double click anywhere on the desired plan row or click the gear icon to open the plan wizard. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in the next video entitled Plan Wizard Overview.